Measures of spread. Now measures of spread are used to check if scores are close together or spread out. And the measurements we use are range, interquartile range and standard deviation. And that's what we're going to learn about today. And if, if we look at the example below, we've got two classes, class A and class B. They are mass classes and they completed a quiz. Now this quiz had a score out of 10. If we look below, we can see that class A had one student that got 100%. They got 10 out of 10. But most of the students got between 0 and 4 marks. Now class A is also below as a dot plot. Here's our student that got 10 out of 10, and, and these are the group of students that got between 0 and 4 marks. Class B is the other mass class, and theirs is much more spread out. They range all the way from 1 mark to 9 marks, and they are in the dot plot below. So if we were talking about measures of spread here, we would say that class A is close together. Most of the scores are close together, and class B is spread out got a wider wider spread and quite often when scores are close together we also use the word consistent because class A consistently get marks between 0 and 4 they did have an outlier of 10 this is called an outlier but if you were to ignore the outlier most of the marks are close together 